So one question I've been getting asked more and more is why I don't bet NFL. It's Sunday right now, and I got NFL on in the background, and I have the last ever Rangers game being played in Rangers Ballpark on that computer monitor. But why don't I bet NFL? Well, I have a few reasons. One being, I like to focus on one sport at a time. I bet college football when college football starts, and that's all I focus on, and then college basketball in the winter, and then I'm still in an experimental phase with baseball in the spring and summer. So really, the only time of the year I'm betting more than one sport is over Thanksgiving and throughout the holidays when I'm betting both college football and college basketball because I start betting college basketball during those Thanksgiving week tournaments. That's always when I start betting college basketball. And then I overlap with the last couple weeks of college football and bowl games betting both college basketball and college football. But that's the only time of the year that I'm betting more than one sport at a time because it actually takes a little bit more legwork than you would think to be able to maintain your models and databases and stats and everything and I would just become overwhelmed if I was adding another sport into the mix. My calendar is pretty simple. I start betting baseball on Memorial Day and I stop betting baseball the day before the first day of college football, usually week zero. Reason two being that I think the NFL is impossible to beat. I've never tried to bet NFL. I've never tried to build a thorough NFL model. I've experimented with it, but I've never actually gone all the way because I think the NFL is impossible to beat. I don't think you can beat it. The markets are way too efficient. You're talking about the highest volume markets in the world when it comes to sports betting. There's no soft markets here. They're way too efficient. You're going up against the most efficient markets in the world. Which is why I think the NFL Super Contest at the Westgate in Las Vegas is funny because they act like winning that matters, right? It's blind luck. I think NFL betting is blind luck. Yes, you can build a model and everything, but I still don't think you can beat it. I haven't tried. Maybe you can. Maybe there are people out there who can beat NFL. I don't know who they are, but I've never tried because I just think it's impossible. I like to stick with college football instead where I feel like the markets are a little bit less efficient and a little bit softer. And same with college basketball over NBA. And third being, I just enjoy college football more than NFL. I don't really even consider myself to be an NFL fan. I have it on on Sundays, but I don't pay that much attention because I don't really have a favorite team, first of all. I didn't grow up with one. So I think that's the main reason I don't get invested in NFL personally is because I don't have a favorite team. So it's just more of like something I have on in the background on Sundays, but I don't really pay attention to it that much. I enjoy college football a lot more. So if I'm going to only be betting on one sport at a time, I'd rather it be on a sport that I'm invested in personally as a fan and not just as a sport I'm betting on. I'm a big college football fan. I'm a big college basketball fan and I'm a baseball fan. I'm not so much an NBA fan or an NFL fan. So those are my three reasons. One being I like to focus on one sport at a time and I pick college football. Two being that I think the NFL is impossible to beat. And three, I'm just not an NFL fan, really. I'm sure I'm going to have a lot of people saying, well, I can beat NFL. Well, good for you. I just think it's very, very difficult and your resources are better spent on other sports with a bit softer markets. That wraps up my explanation for why I don't bet NFL. Until next time, this is Sports Betting Truth signing off.